Welcome aboard the Titan. Actually, wait, we're gonna rename this boat. What are we calling it? Tac. The Tac. <laughs> I know you're wondering who this Bella is, so let's rewind. We had met a month before this in Toronto at my favorite restaurant, Marble. A friend had introduced us. A couple dates later, I asked her to meet me in Europe. We went to Monaco, Saint Tropez, and this is the story of Portofino. We are now in Portofino. I had booked us a hotel right outside of Portofino. It said it was a 15 minute walk away. So we decided we would go explore a bit and make our way over to the port. So we thought. We went for a walk to try to go to Portofino. We walked like 45 minutes. Long story short, we walked 45 minutes in the wrong direction. <laughs> and then we got lazy and called a taxi to this hotel. So Portofino, here we come though. Three hours later, we finally made it to Portofino. It's five hours later. Five hours later. This place is beautiful. Don't be fooled. All the buildings are fucking wallpaper. They don't <laughs> actually look like this. Look, looks like an ancient, beautiful Italian building. Wallpaper. It's look at this guy. Great architecture. Wallpaper. <laughs> no, that was actually not. I don't think. Yeah, it is. Look. What do you mean it's not? Oh yeah, that was. It's painted. Look at all these buildings are painted. That's hilarious. Portofino is a fishing village on the Italian Riviera coastline, southeast of Genoa City. Pastel colored houses, high end boutiques, and seafood restaurants fringe at the Piazzetta. And I fully read that off Google, but that's exactly what it is. Well, it's just like this little town right on the water, like a foot away from the water. So I'm actually staying at the Grand Hotel Miramare, which is in a town right beside Portofino called Santa Margarita. It's really beautiful over here, actually. I kind of like it better than Portofino. So Portofino is a very small town, can get a little expensive, but still beautiful. This uh, town seems to have a little more action going on, so I didn't mind staying here. And we're right across the street from the beach. Today we're going to rent a boat, gonna get it on the water, go for a little cruise, right? All right guys, we did it. Welcome aboard the Tzak. Plain coastline, and it was beautiful. I highly recommend this. And the gentleman that rented us the boat recommended that we have lunch in San Fratuzzo, which is only accessible by boat or by hike. And I don't hike, so we boated. Oh my god! All right, well, it looks like we're having dolphin sushi. There's probably a huge pot of them. Oh my god! Oh my god! What the fuck? Oh my. Oh! <laughs> we did the boat tour. You definitely don't need the full day, guys. <laughs> the guy uh, was a bit of a slimy fuck and convinced me I needed the full day. I think we could have done it in an hour. <laughs> On the other note, this is beautiful. Drive way past where they recommend you to. And uh, you could be here. I don't know what the hell this town's called, but... Uh... Welcome to Jurassic Park. All right, where are we? What's it called again? I don't know. Expert Italian over here. <laughs> I honestly have no idea either, but our uh, guy who rented us the boat suggested we come here for lunch. Here comes our Uber. Okay, so the Abbey of San Fruttuoso is on the Italian Riviera between Camogli and Portofino. The Abbey is located in the small bay on the sea beneath a steep wooded hill and it can only be reached by sea or by hiking trails. There is no road access. This was the place the guy told me to go for lunch. Ciao, bella. Shout out to the boat guy that conned me into coming here. You the man. <laughs> the food was amazing. The fish had been caught earlier that morning. Afterwards, we went back to our boat and just hung out. We went snorkeling and swimming and eventually got the hell out of there. The color of this water just blows my mind every time I see it. New captain. Ciao, bella, ciao. This place is fucking beautiful. But then again, so am I. We made it to Portofino. Portofino. Almost got ran over by this fucking Porto Boto. It's now Porto Longo. This is so pretty much prettier by water. So honestly. Fun. Portofino's cute, but it's just so small. This was my favorite day on the entire trip. And wasn't even over. 
Still had to drive two hours to go check out Cinque Terre and then Pisa. Update, completely missed Cinque Terre. I was on the phone, missed the exit by an hour. Turns out our hotel room wasn't even in Pisa either. It was in Via Reggio. It's like a massive beach town with like thousands of beach seats and clubs and restaurants and like high-end designers. Like, I'm so confused. This town's actually really sick. I'd come back. Did you come back? I would definitely come back here. Large. We decided to take it easy that night because we had a flight in the morning. So we went for a stroll and found somewhere to eat. And then we caught the sunset. Can we see the sunset? This was literally one of the most beautiful sunsets I'd ever seen in my whole life. Even she said that this day was like a movie. Did she mean horror movie? Came to Pisa to find the Leaning Tower. I have no idea where it is though. So I came to the Leaning Tower of Pisa for one reason. It's really leaning. Why is this thing leaning? Who designed this? Leaning Tower of Pisa, we did it. It's our last stop in Italy. Italy, I fucking love you. I miss you already. Off to London. Oh, look, there's, look, there's people on the top. Oh, should we go? Uh, only if you want to. Get the hell out of here.